nursing a black eye after suffering its first loss against Sherry Redstone. A court rejecting the network's bid to dissolve Redstone's control over the company. CBS trying to stop Redstone's plan to unite, reunite that is, via common CBS. CBS stock falling. Uh, after the close, uh, we'll be watching it closely today. Viacom shares also ended lower. CBS also canceled its annual shareholders meeting scheduled for today, giving executives more time to figure out what the heck to do next. A great deal is at stake here for both sides. Let's bring in Melissa Armo of the Stock Swoosh. Melissa, great to have you here. Always a pleasure. Let's good start. Good morning. Let's start with Moonves here. You know, here is a guy who is challenging essentially the owner of his company. Uh, he's been pretty clear he doesn't like a lot of the brands uh, that Viacom has, MTV, Paramount. You know, there's a, a lots of luster there, I think you've got to say. Does Moonves have nothing to lose here? Well, i got to be honest with you. He's done a great job running CBS. for. He's been there forever. He's done a great job. And really, this is not, I don't think this is necessarily in CBS's interest to, to hook up with Viacom. Viacom, in the last few years, a lot of their channels have not been doing so great. MTV has gone downhill. VH1 has gone downhill. Nickelodeon is probably one of the most valuable things and really the Paramount Studios uh, for Viacom. But the stock itself has reflected the, the lack of interest really in those channels, whereas CBS has tons and tons of hits. I mean, right. look at Survivor. Everybody knows Survivor. The Big Bang Theory is CBS. So I think, you know, it's very, very interesting. This is not over yet. It's not over by a long shot. Uh, CBS stock looks a lot better also than Viacom. It's in an uptrend of Viacom's in a downtrend. I think this is going to be a big battle. I think it's going to cost, I think it's going to cost a lot of money going and, through and, all the legal battles. Should we, should we just note here that Moonves has like $200 million gold pa parachute. So if it doesn't work out and he's got to leave, you know, it's not so bad, is it? Well, uh, I, I mean, that's not necessarily great, though, for CBS, for CBS no, shareholders. I mean, he's all. done a great job with the company. That's what I'm saying. It's a good point. Until 2021. And, and I don't know anything about the golden parachute you're talking about, but it, it, obviously there's something else going on there. But I'm saying he's done a good job. And he's still yeah, only and I 68. think the stock reflects that, right? The stock's been the on stock fire. It's it. done well while others in the category yeah, have, are have not. Exactly. But I think the big question uh, here is uh, can Moonves actually stop Sherry? I mean, it's really come down to two folks here, really. They're fighting each other. Can yeah. CBS stop her from forcing them to combine with Viacom? I, they're going to try, and this is what I'm saying. This is not over by a long shot, and this could get ugly, like really ugly. It's already ugly, my friend. <laughs> uh, so let's talk more broadly about the media landscape because there's so many deals going on right now. Disney and a deal to buy uh, parts of 21st Century Fox, the parent of this network, uh, AT&T and Time Warner in front of a judge right now with the deal. Uh, lots going on, and, uh, uh, you know, can't, will we see major changes in the media landscape? What there might are, happen next? Yeah, there are changes. There are a lot of changes. The Fox-Disney merger, that's very positive. It's positive for Disney. Their stock price has rallied since then. Fox is in an uptrend. That's very positive. That's expected to go through in the summer of 2019. I think that's pretty much a done deal. The Justice Department, however, is involved with the AT&T merger. It's, there's antitrust issues there because they're thinking that's going to be bad for consumers to have a, a, someone that owns a TV distribution company and also who's creating and selling the content. So that's the problem with that. And we, I don't think the, the judge is supposed to come out with a ruling on that until June. But the TV landscape is changing mainly because people right. are not watching as much uh, programming on TV. They're watching things on the Shh, internet. Listen, don't tell people that. I <laughs> want them to watch this network. Well, hopefully they are. <laughs> <laughs> Melissa, thanks for coming on. Great to see you. Great information. You, Appreciate it. And, and good point that you just made about the entire industry just in a huge shakeup right now. Yeah, I mean, anything could happen. Our company, mm. lots of companies, Disney, Viacom, all the big players. Yeah. It's in flux. Yeah, that was a great interview. Okay, so we're still talking about this. The big question, is it Laurel? Is it Yanni? Yanni. <laughs> Yanni, Yanni, <laughs> I give up. See, and I mean, not even have it straight now. America's latest internet debate is now hitting the White House. And it's not just Laurel and Yanni. The Philadelphia Eagles are headed to the White House. Jerry Max has got that sports story and some other highlights coming up. And we are taking a look at your futures uh, right now. After we look at Time Warner and AT&T, we were talking about it. But anyway, there you go. There's the Dell futures. We're Hallelujah. at 62 in the pre-market. Yeah, five and a quarter on the S&P, 19 and a quarter on the NASDAQ. We'll be right back.